After electricity has been made and transmitted to your city, it's time for it to be distributed to homes and businesses. The distribution system carries electricity at lower levels for shorter distances, such as from city to city or neighborhood to neighborhood. Like the transmission system, these smaller distribution wires are held up by distribution poles or buried underground. These poles are typically 50 feet high and are made mostly of wood. While the distribution poles and wires appear harmless, they must still be treated carefully and with safety in mind. Even the amount of electricity delivered to your home can cause serious injury if mishandled. Let's now explain what's on a typical distribution pole from the top to the bottom. At the top of the pole are the primary or main wires. These wires are coming from a nearby substation and can carry anywhere from 34,500 volts to 7,200 volts. The most common voltage is 12,000. Remember, the electricity started out as high as 765,000 volts coming from the power plant and was stepped down to lower voltages at substations. If the electricity is going to a home, there is typically just one main wire. If the electricity is going to a business, there would be three wires because a business usually needs and uses more electricity than a home. These primary or main wires are often held up on the pole by a cross arm. The wires are held in place by insulators, which help to keep the cross arm and pole from becoming energized by the wires. The next piece of equipment typically found on a distribution pole is a lightning arrester. This is similar to a surge protector in your home. A lightning arrester protects the pole's equipment from being harmed by lightning. At about the same level as the lightning arrester is the cutout. A cutout is similar to a fuse in your home.